hello so today we'll look at how we can run programs on octave i realized that uh, some of you may not be familiar with the process of running a script in octave so i thought i'll just cover that in a quick short video fine so before uh, running octave you must have octave in your system right uh, so if you are running on windows what you can do is you can type gnu octave right click on this link remember octave is open source it is free to use and it works almost as good as matlab and has almost all the functionalities of matlab so for learning purposes it's really good when you are in industry and when you want things to be uh, done quickly because uh, because the time requirement is as such in industries there you will have to use matlab but for learning purposes octave is almost as good and whatever you learn in octave you can transfer to matlab without any changes okay so once you have opened gnu octave go to the download link and here you can download for windows you can download download according to your uh, architecture 64 bit 32 bit and then the process is like any other uh, software installer just click next next accept and done your software would be installed in your computer so for windows the process is as such and if you're working in linux then what you do is you open up a terminal and you type sudo apt install octave since i already have octave installed this will return that you already have it within your system so it says uh, zero updated zero new day installed because it is already there see octave is already the newest version but when you run it on your uh, terminal run this when you run this command octave would get installed in your computer so fine now that we have octave in our computer what you need to do is search for it this uh, from now the process is same for windows as well as linux in windows go to the search option and search for octave you can do the same thing here in uh, linux ubuntu so octave has opened up in a gui graphical user interface <clears throat> so what you need to do is okay now let we have to, uh, we have to see how we are how we are going to run a code on this software so let us get our code first so i have told you in whatever videos i upload i give a give the code used in that video in the description so for example the code uh, of uh, code of the solution of the Lorentz system is given here so when you click on this link you get redirected to a github page you can go there and just copy these lines and get back to octave go to the editor right paste and click on this save and run you can save it with whatever name you want uh, first code dot m remember to give it the extension dot m and then it has run the code it's as simple as that right you would do the same thing in windows because you have the same uh, gui there as well and you will be able to run your code so whatever code i give you you copy and paste it here you copy it from the github uh, link and you paste it here and then you run the code and then you can make changes and see what uh, effects uh, do those changes make see this is the editor and this is the command window so for example the variables which i have used in the editor when i ran this these variables they got uh, stored in the workspace and you can access them in the command window so we are discussing three things right now in editor i pasted the code i ran the code then whatever variables which were created they got stored in the workspace see this is the workspace these are the variables and you can access them for example if you want to look at what beta is you type beta and you get the value and remember we used to i always write this line at the top clear clc close all so let's see what that does so when i do close all for example if this figure is open if i type close all this figure will close when i type clear these variables will get deleted from the workspace and when i type clc the command window gets cleared fine uh, so this is the basics of how you use octave 
on the GUI which you will do in uh, which you can do in uh, uh, in Linux as well as Windows if you want to you know run your programs like a, a programmer or hacker uh, you can go to the terminal and you can type octave okay and there you can uh, this is uh, the commands might be slightly different for uh, Windows and Linux so for example I have my codes stored in so I'm changing the directory CD means change directory I have stored the codes in graduate uh, differential equations okay here are my code and I, if I want to run the code let me see what the, the codes which I have so I have these codes over here so I just need to type the name of the code which I want to run so Lawrence diff if I type that and press enter the code will run and I again get the same graph okay so in this what you have to do is you have to manually go to the directory home differential equations create a text file and write the code right this is the code in the text file and save it with a .m extension and then go to the terminal and run this file okay so these are the two ways in which you can run codes in octave i think uh, for beginners it would be better if you use it if you do it using the graphic user interface and this interface is very similar to matlab MATLAB also has an editor command window workspace so it would be better if you start using the Octave GUI either in Windows or in Linux and you should be able to you know solve I mean you should be able to run all the codes that uh, I have given and your own as well okay, so this is it for today and thank you for watching bye